Hello students, this is Mr. Anderson. Um, this is going to be the uh, instructions, the video instructions for how to create your title block template uh, using the pull down menu. These are the instructions here. Um, scroll through them. Okay, we're done. No, really. Uh, <laughs> yes, I know. My attempt is some poor humor. Um, I'm going to move this over here so that it's out of the way. Um, I just need to move it up here so I can open up my uh, AutoCAD. So we'll get that started. So, this is what everybody sees when you first open up your AutoCAD. Sorry about my cell phone going off. And what you're going to do is you're going to click up here. Let me get this. There we go. Click up here. Okay. I've already got where it says, you know, because show menu bar. So show menu bar. You want to click that so that this up here opens up. Okay. Now we're going to scroll here. Now, as you can see, I've already got my title block template made, but you guys are going to pick on this one right here, acad.dwt. And this is where we all start. So, we're going to set units. So, go to format and the pull down menu, which is right here. Okay, we're going to select units right there. And we're going to make sure it says decimal in the box. Okay. It says decimal, decimal degrees. Precision. We will only really need the maximum of three decimal points. Okay. So that's all we need for that part right there. So we're going to hit OK. Down here. We have our model space, our layout, and our layout too. Now all drawing should be done in the model space. Everything you draw will be in this, okay? And the layout looks considerably different. This is your viewport, okay? So, what we're going to do here, we're going to right click, we're going to rename, I'm going to turn on my caps lock and call it I M P E R I A L, Imperial, which means inches. If you want to call it inches, call it inches. You can call it George if you really want to, as long as you know that this is what you're inches your inch drawings are going to be on is on this template here now on that layout now if you go over here to this layout we're going to call it metric m-e-t-r-i-c and we'll save what we're going to do for that later so let's go back over here to imperial okay next we are going to go to the page setup manager. So oh, my bad. Down here. 
page setup manager. Now we're in Imperial, so it's okay. Modify. I'm going to check and make sure everything looks right. So, plot style, we're going to pick monochrome. Okay. We're going to be printing on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So, that's good. Letter size. Okay. I'm going to print the layout, yep. And leave this alone. This is all good. Landscape, that means it's going to be long ways, which this sheet is long ways. Okay. So this is good. Okay, next. I'm going to close this one. I'm going to go to metric or page setup manager, modify all of these. I'm going to change that one also to monochrome. So this is correct. That's good. That's good. And this becomes 25.4. Okay. So that's basically going to say that every line that you draw that's going to be considered in our space one inch long is going to be equal to 25.4 units, which is millimeters. So that way, when you draw something that's 300 something long, it'll still show up on your 8.5 by 11 piece of paper because it will figure that 25.4 of those units are going to be metric, okay? Anyway, so we're good there. Close that. Next, we're going to do layers. Now, <clears throat> we create our layers by going up here to our layer properties, clicking on that. Come on. Here we go. Now, what you'll do is you're going to click up here on this one right here. Okay, that is a new layer. So we're going to click that. A good half dozen times. Let's see how many we have on this sheet of paper. Okay. So I always just change the name of this one. Oh, selected layer cannot be renamed. Maybe because I do it when I don't have it selected. So we're going to have two just in case we need to uh, call it something else. So object, hidden, center, what else do we have on here, construction, Construction. What else we got? Phantom. And 
mention. Okay, so now we're going to change the hidden line. We have to load. So you'll scroll down here. You find hidden. Okay. And I just changed that line to hidden. Okay. Center line. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to load center line. Then we're going to select center line. Hit OK. Construction. I'm going to change the color of the construction line to a gray color. Um, we can change the center line as well. Um, I prefer to stay away from the really light colors. Um, just because my eyes are old and I can't really see all that well. So we're going to go with a, uh, a dark blue on the center. On the hidden, we're going to go with a bright red. Okay. I'm going to leave those alone. Okay, so there. That's our layers. It's not too bad. So next, Pardon me while I get distracted. <clears throat> okay. So next we're going to uh, type in, we're going to set up the text style. So we're going to hit uh, ST. Okay. Let that pop up. For standard, okay, the height's going to be zero. So that's good. We'll stick with that. Okay. So we're going to set current. We have aerial pick up uh, pick right there which is fine I just try to stay away from that simplex there's going to be a time when you have to uh, go in here and use the GD and uh, let's see the yeah GD and T dimensioning that's the geometric dimensioning and tolerancing because there's some hotkeys that you can use that will help you out when you go to dimension some things and uh, I'll do a video on that as well um, that happens in Chapter 8 and then later in uh, the book for CAD 200. So don't worry about that. We'll get that taken care of. So I'm going to set current. That's good. I'm going to close because that's all taken care of. Okay, Step 5, the Border and Tighter Block. We're going to turn on Polar, O-Track, and O-Snap. Now that's these guys right down here. Okay, there's our Polar. Okay. O-Track and O-Snap. So what you can do... This is basically the ones that should be on. Okay. But there's a... To make sure you have the right ones, uh, you can... See, yeah, those are the ones that's in the in the uh, handout there, because I'm holding the handout in my hand. A good place for a handout, I do believe. 
but uh, you can also type in Osmode O S for O snap mode. Hit enter. You can give it the number one eight three. Then hit enter again, and that will just make sure that those are clicked. Now I'm going to show you how that changes. I'm going to click all of those from there. Everything under mode or node. Sorry, I got my wrong reading glasses on. So watch what happens when I type in O S M O D E. And then see that number right here has cha changed as I move the cursor with the number 15351. We're going to change that to 183. I'll we'll go back down here. And there's the original setup. All of these that I picked are unpicked. Okay? Because this is all you're going to need to do that one part. Okay. Next. We're going to set our options. I think once we set our options, I'm going to stop this video and uh, we'll go into the next part. I think there's only three more steps to the rest of it, but it's kind of involved. But this is going to be right at 20 minutes by the time we finish this. So, let's see. Go up here to Tools, right here. Click on Options. Plot and Publish, right here. Okay. There we go. Edge of paper. That's the important thing right there. I think that's all we need right here. So I'm going to stop right here, and we will continue this in just a moment. Thanks for sticking with me for the 19 minutes.